Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to organize folders in Google Drive and more. To get started, go to google.com. When you get to this window, you want to choose Sign In if you haven't done so already. Students at Mountain Ridge would type in their student number, so for example, 12345. They would then put the at symbol, then student.asd20.org and then they would log in with their password that they use to log in in the school's network. Once you're signed in, go ahead and choose the Apps option at the top and choose Drive. If that was not available, you would do Google Drive and then choose that top option. If you're just starting, you won't have anything in your Google Drive. As you can see, I've had years of activity in this drive, so I'm going to want to start organizing. I should have organized in the first place, but I didn't. I need to create folders for these and put those in the folder. As you can see, I have folders at the top. While going through some of these, I determined that I don't need some, so I'll go ahead and put a check mark, and I will then choose the trash can to get rid of those. Do make sure that you don't want them before you click on the trash can at the top. So I'll click on the trash can to remove those items. I did notice that I have some videos for a project. So what I will do is I will click on the create option and choose folders and I will type in videos. I will then choose create. I will then go to those videos and select them by putting a check mark next to all the videos. Once I've done that, I will go to the top where there's the folder, click on that folder, and I will locate videos. I will select videos and choose move. Now if I open up that videos folder, you will see those videos. I'll go back to my drive and continue organizing my folders. I have quite a few surveys in here, so I'll go ahead and choose create folder and type in surveys and then choose create. Again, I will choose the surveys by selecting them. And once I've selected all of them, I will choose the folder at the top and move them. I will click on the folder, locate surveys. I have two surveys folders. This is a problem. Since I've already created a surveys folder, I will go ahead and select the one I just created and delete that. I will click on the surveys by putting a check mark next to it. Once they're all selected, I will choose the folder. I will then choose surveys and choose move. Now you might organize differently than this. You have to pick a system that is good for you so that you can easily locate items. I created another one called Documents and I put the documents in the Documents folder. I have one more thing and this is a drawing. So I'll choose Create folder and type in Drawing. I will then choose Create. I will then select the map and click on the folder and move it to that folder. I am now much more organized. You might want to go through and determine if you want to keep some of the material and if not, choose to delete that just to clear up space. If you wanted to color the folders, you would simply go ahead and right click on that folder. You would then choose change color and you could go ahead and change the color of the folder. If you wanted to rename a folder, you would simply right click on that folder and choose rename. If you wanted to share a folder with a classmate or a teacher, you would right click, you would then choose share and then share again. You would then type in that person's address. So if it's a student, you would look up the student's name. When you type in that student's name, it will appear in this invite people box. When you locate the student or students or teacher, you would then give them editing privileges or viewing privileges. It's up to you. Right now it's set to private. You could change it in this window depending on what you want to accomplish. But if you just want to share it privately with someone to edit, you would type in their name and choose edit and then send. This concludes the session on how to organize Google Drive and more. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.